A day in London. Grand came to stay. The children ran to meet her. Hooray! Said Kipa. I love it when Grand comes to stay. She's good fun. Grand brought presents for everyone. She gave Mom and Dad an ornament. Kipa had some little golf clubs, and Beth and Trip had a keyboard. Thanks, Grand. Said everyone, "I've another surprise for you." Said Grand. She gave the children some funny-looking puzzles. What are they? Asked Kipa. Boomerangs. Said Grand. The children wanted to see how the boomerangs worked. Grand took them outside. She threw a boomerang, and it whizzed through the air. Look out! Shouted Gran. Keeper wanted to play with the golf club. Gran showed him what to do. She hit the ball, but she hit it too hard. It smashed a window. Oh dear! Said Gran. Next day, Wilf, Wilma, Nadine, and Anina came to play. Beth and Chip showed them the keyboard. Grand had a good idea. Let's have a band, she said. The band made a lot of noise, and the children had a good time. Whatever will Grand do next? Said Dad. She warns them the children. Said Mom. Grand had promised to take the children on an outing. She said. The Nadine and the Nina called. Go too. I will take you all to London," she said. "Look after Gran," said Mom. As they got into the car, tried and stopped her getting into trouble. "We'll do our best," said Beth. "But it won't be easy." When they got to London, Gran parked the car. "Now we'll take the tube," said Gran. It's the best way to get around. There were lots of people waiting on the platform. When the train came in, everyone rushed to get on. Now I know why it's called the called a tube," said Anina. Everyone gets squeezed. They went to Trafalgar Square, one top of the column. Was a statue of Nelson. I wouldn't like to be up there," said Beth. "I don't like height." There were lots of pigeons in Trafalgar Square. Graham bought some nuts. The children fed the pigeons. "Oh, help!" said Nadine. "I didn't know that pigeons were so greedy." They went to Buck Buckingham's palace. This is where the queen lives," said Gran. "It's enormous," said Anina. "The queen must be busy with all those rooms to clean." A big car drove past, and everyone cheered and waved. The children couldn't see who was inside the car. Perhaps it's the queen," said Beth. Grand took them on a boat. They went under Tower Bridge. The children were excited because the bridge began to open. It began to rain, and the wind blew. Everyone felt cold. Never mind," said Grand. "We'll think of somewhere warm to go next." They went to the wax ward. What is a wax ward? Asked Keeper. As they went in, it was wax models of films people. Said Anina. They looked at the models. Don't they look funny? Said Keeper. You can tell they are models and not real people. Said Anina. Who are these people? Asked. Kipa, that is Queen Victoria," said Gran. "And some of her 
grandchildren. She had lots of grandchildren," said Nadine. Queen Victoria looks very fierce," said Beth. "I bet she wouldn't like you, Gran." "Well, I wouldn't like to be a queen," said Gran. "It must be a hard job." They looked at a street scene. This is what London was like a long time ago," said Gwen. "A lot of people were very poor. Poor children didn't go to school in those days. They had to work instead," said Gwen. "That boy carrying brushes is a sweep. His job was to climb up chimneys." And brush suit down. Gran went off to 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 look at the real family. Well, the children stayed at the street seats. Do you think Gran should go off by herself? Said Beth. She can't do much harm in here. Said Chip. Gran dropped her handbag, and some money rolled along. The models. Gran went to pick it up. As she bent down, she knocked into the waxwork, and they began to fall over. Gran picked the models up and put the hen head back on. The children couldn't believe it. Gran, what are you doing? said Beth. Don't just stand there," said Gran. "Help me pick the models up before a- anyone sees." "Oh, Gran," said Beth, "I let you out of my sense of a second, and this happens." They pick the models up and put the hands back on. "They look strange," said Anina. I don't think the hands are right. Oh no," said Gran. A lady ran up. She was very cross with Gran. I can't think how you knocked the models over in the first place," she said. "It's never happened before. I'm very sorry," said Gran. I don't know," said Beth. I don't think they will get that grand in the waxworks again. Never mind," said Chip. "Grand didn't mean to knock them over." "Thank you for a great day out," said Nadine. "We we had never been to London before. I like the red. I like the red on the boats best." Said Kippa, even if it was cold, I like everything. Said Nina. Home at last, said Gran. We can tell Mom some of our adventures, but not all of them, and not the one about beheading the Queen.